Hi, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to make these clay ornament kits um, with the babies that my sister bought for them from Michael's Craft Store. I'm really excited to make these and just to have a keepsake to keep on the tree every year from something from their very first Christmas. Um, so yeah, here we go. In order to get started on this project, here are the few things that you need. Of course, you need the ornament kit. Um, you need one of these. You need some parchment paper, some olive oil, and a straw. So I have everything that I need. So now it's time to get started. You guys ready? Are you 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 ready? This is not to eat. Okay. So, I'm putting on this parchment paper to roll out the dough. You ready? We'll start with. Who wants to start? You can start because you gave me that big smile. So the instructions seem pretty easy. First thing first, remove dough from bag and knead in glitter as desired. Knead dough thoroughly and let air dry for 30 minutes. Oh, it's gross. Not these stairs, because. Ryan, while you're first, you want lots of glitter or a little bit of glitter? Lots of glitter or a little bit? Hmm? Ryan, what does she want? Lots of glitter or a little bit of glitter? This thing can't open. It's almost like a big marshmallow. Seems so. Lots of glitter or a little bit of glitter? Tell one stop. Should I stop? Should I stop? Okay. I guess not, then stop. Oh, I'm not a very textured person, so this kind of feels gross. It almost feels like I'm trying to like remember something as a kid that felt this gross. Um, <laughs> it's like slime, but not slimy. You wanna try? You wanna touch? Is it like toxic? No, it has to be very kind. Wanna touch? Oh, I like it. Wanna touch? You want to touch it? Oh, you want to touch? Oh, good job. Nice. And that's enough for there. So, okay. now that this is all kneaded in, I guess, I don't know, the sparkles, you can't really, can't really tell. Can you tell? Just looks like gray dots, little, little rocks or something. Anyway. Zion, are you just watching the camera? <laughs> okay. This is the mold. It has a little... Good job. You okay? It has a little star on it, so... I'm going to take my cooking oil. Pour a little straw. That ended up being more than a little drop, but... I'll just use this little brush to thinly coat. So now that it's there's a thin coat of cooking oil, I'm going to put this inside. 
as I put it to help with the dough release. Okay. I squished this in here. Hopefully, I did it enough so you can see the little design on the other side. Okay, let's put your hand for baby girl. Let's put your hand for baby girl. Hi, wow, good job. Easy. <laughs> Pretty good. So in the box, it also gave us these little gems. So it's just saying place gems around the outside. So I'm going to do that. Let it. Okay, so the first one is done. A little Z for Zyla. I actually think too that I should write their names on it. Okay, so the babies got tired, so they're gone. <laughs> just me now. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna get everybody's handprints, but it's just me. Not really sure what I was talking about. I got Zion's handprint before I put him down. So really, I only needed to worry about how I was going to get Zyanna's handprint. But as you can see, uh, most of the process doesn't really involve the baby, so I would just have to figure out how to get her handprint while she was sleeping. Okay, so I finished the last mold. I am going over to Zyanna. She's the only one who didn't press her hand um, in a mold, so I'm going to press her hand. She's napping, but mm, if I don't do it now, it's gonna not work out so good because you only have a certain amount of hours to let it set once you already do it, so. So cute. These are ready to be popped out of the mold. It's hard. Still a little bit squishy, but hard nonetheless. So I'm going to put these flat on the table. So that one's definitely not coming out. So we'll just leave that for a little bit. I'll move on to the next one. Okay, trying to go back to this one here. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, so they are all done. So cute. This one kind of got ruined a little bit. This one came out pretty good. This one kind of got ruined a little bit too. The mold kind of broke. But overall, um, they came out pretty good. It was a nice little art and craft project. The only thing I don't really like about this is that it's not, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's not hard. It's like, you can still like bend it. Like, it's like, so I guess I'm not sure how long these are going to last because they're not going to get really hard. It doesn't feel like it is kind of like a, a foamy kind of material. Feels like, feels like like a, a putty, like some sort of like putty, you know, when you make it with like school glue and, and water. Um, that's kind of what this feels like. So um, I'm not sure if I'd really recommend this to anybody, but definitely the idea of doing handprint ornaments, such a cute idea. Um, I'm gonna keep these for, even though they didn't come out the best, but keep them for as long as I can, just because I think it's a cute, a cute um, keepsake, but yeah, it's good. I have, I have another tin as well. I'm gonna do, I was gonna do their hand prints or their feet. Again, I was gonna save it until their year, but I think I'm gonna do it now just so that I can make sure that I have something that's gonna last a little bit longer, but definitely cute. Thanks for watching.